Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. If you're Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Progress, this is your tarot card reading. And if you have Scorpio in any of the dominant planetary energies, such as you know, Mars, Mercury, uh, Venus, Saturn, etc., you can apply it in those areas as well. If you know how to map it out and do so, then do so. Um, remember, this is collective, not one on one. Takes what resonates, leave what doesn't. We pulled eight cards from our, from our thought deck, three cards um, for confirmation here from our. Right away, Smith Tara. We pulled two cards from our playing card decks. So make sure y'all stay tuned, Scorpio. You know, I want to miss out on this. But before we get into it, show real. Yeah, say job. Say job. We wake up with the fun in your last name. Brought it to cause you know I'm never late. I'll just be in our room to find me protected. We never looking down. It's young MC, I triple C. You know, we got the young rolling with the angels and we ride into planes. The fun is protected. I'm sending messages on my side. Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Y'all seen the intro. We're going to get right into it here, Scorpio. We starting off with our traditional Thoth Edition deck here. We're going to get into it with eight cards tapped into the collective energy for you, Scorpio. We're going to see what the energy is like here with, for the collective here. Um, give you some answers, you know, regarding your current energy, regarding a little bit about the past, you know. Move forward, obstacles to overcome, best path to walk down. Let's check it out here. Well, it's a little bit different here. Scorpio, you just came off the week of the full moon in Virgo. Here, Scorpio. Happy Pisces season. If you have Pisces in your chart, Scorpio, make sure you go check out the Pisces reading that just dropped last week as well. You don't want to miss that out. All my new return, all my returning magicians, I appreciate you helping the channel grow. Good job in your comments, like, and subscribe in here. All my new magicians. Don't hesitate to hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know where you're tuning in from as well. Serpio, we have the Empress coming out for you. First card, which is very nice. And three, maybe significant to you. November 3rd, life path number three. It's the number three in general here. Hearing unity, alignment with the mind, body, and spirit, thoughts, feelings, and actions, TFA here. I'm hearing you're in an energy of uh, creativity, you know, that was kind of the moving factor to why you want to move forward here. In the current energy, you're embodying the magician, two powerful cards right here, the empress and the magician. Um, 13 could be significant. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a the hidden love influence here for you, Scorpio. Um, I don't know if this is a person, whether, or you're doing something that you really love to do here with the Magician card. You're starting fresh in your energy here, Scorpio. Um, you're utilizing all the resources that you have within your environment here. And this is happening based upon, or because of kind of, um, because it's either something that you love to do, or there's a love connection or a family that you you know, a person, place, or thing that you're relating to here that you love, appreciate, and value. That's your motivating factor here. It's very nurturing for you, and it's, it's kind of pushing you to keep going here, Scorpio. For those of you, this is something that you, you guys, you know, you love to do. I think this is creativity as well. Some form of creativity that you guys really enjoy doing here, Scorpio. I mean, don't stop the creativity. There's some relocation here for you as well. For some of y'all Scorpios, you may be doing this and utilizing the resources, expressing your creativity. Um, you know, really something that you love. Or there's a person in your life as well that could seem to be like I said, the motivating factor behind a lot of this as well. But this is really something that you love to do, and I think you want to, I think you're utilizing these things so that um, you can relocate or travel or something in some way, shape, or form. This could be with that person here, or just by yourself, if you're planning to relocate, which is why you're doing this, create, uh, this creative thing, this creativity, divine expression here. This could be art, teaching, um, spiritual work here, anything that you do that's creative, you know, knitting. Crystal beads, work, all that kind of stuff. Um, 
it could seem like an obs it could seem like an obstacle right now. Uh, you know, you may want to travel here, Scorpio. So much power in this reading. You may want to travel here, Scorpio. But it may seem a little tough right now for you. But I'm hearing it will be you will be able to do this. Just a little bit more needs to be put in place. I mean the earth energy. I'm not seeing no earth energy yet. A little bit more needs to be put in place so that you can take action and actually start this planning and relocation and maybe you know travel leisure, whether it's foreign or local. Yeah, the Empress card here, the creativity that you're expressing with the sun is letting me know that this is definitely shining some light within the world here. Um, you're definitely a guiding factor here, Scorpio. Whatever creative uh, creativity that you're doing right now is definitely a big guiding factor. And it shines a lot of warmth and um, a lot of light, you know, on on the world here. On whoever listens and whoever it affects, whoever sees it, you know, um, I think... You bring a lot of light to to the dark, the darkness of a lot of people, the collective here. You bring a lot of light to the dark within the collective. I think I said that right. Not too sure, but um, yeah. <laughs> we have one card shooting out. Princess of Cups. This is divine expression as well. You know, your creativity is a divine expression of your own individuality and how you set the stage for yourself here, Scorpio. Make sure the stage that you set for your creativity, you know, is, is expressing who you are authentically here as well. So message from spirit. Right under the Magus, we have the Magician card. We have the Princess of Cups here. So utilizing... All you have to do in your, with your resources here, you know, everything you know, all the knowledge and wisdom that you've accumulated, you're starting fresh based off of that. And um, you've seen it manifest, you know. This is something that... This is something that you've seen manifest here. Based upon an opportunity that you, that, that you were privy to, you know. This was the opportunity, I feel like, to develop your skill set. This is the opportunity to develop your skill set so that way you can manifest. I'm seeing it's your skill set and your own wisdom and knowledge here that does, that is the opportunity to manifest, manifestation in general, you know? So, like, make sure you're tapping into your own skills, make sure you're tapping into your resources, make sure you're tapping into all that you've learned, you know, from the past um, till today, you know? And um, however you utilize that here, Scorpio, that is the opportunity. You create the opportunity for yourself, and that's how you manifest based upon your own skill set and your own will. You know, um, so make sure your intent, you're 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 planting the seeds. You're very consciously aware of what you're doing day to day. Your intentions behind your actions and whatever you're doing here, right? I'm hearing your skill set is the opportunity to be of service to the world as well. It's your skill set that leads to the, that that brought forth this um, creativity here that that brings divine guidance to the collective. Um, we have the two of cups, and another the two of cups, the love energy. We have the ten of swords, which is very interesting. Um, I feel like I feel like you, for you, Scorpio, the love and the air and the water is like. The thing getting in the way, that's like, the, you know, kind of that, that influence. But I really feel like because the fire and the earth really lets me know it's just, that's that manifestation energy. The water can be your emotions getting in the way here um, and your thoughts getting in the way. But the way it's positioned and played out, um, there's, a love, there's a love connection or a love influence that you want to move forward here with. Right, I think that's why you're kind of getting everything in place so that you're able to be free and really enjoy this love connection here. Um, I want to I want to say that this path is going to lead down to freeing freeing your mind. You know, maybe you overthought a lot here, Scorpio, about this about a love connection, about love in general here. Um, even this could be doing what you love, um, going for going forward and moving forth with a love connection here that's significant to you. 
but you over you always overthought it. You know, this is breaking free with the ten of ten of swords. This is breaking free from overthinking your love connections or what you love to do. And you're no longer really overthinking it, but just you're going for it. You're taking the action, right? The the fire and the earth. And that's what's helping you bring forth your manifestations because your mind is not getting in the way and you start you're starting to have power and more control over your mind as an sp individual spirit here. With the two of wands, the Dominion card, we have some travel here that I see that may be a little bit tough to take, but it is in accordance to your vision here. Um, let's see what how, what's going on here. Let's clarify the two of wands for Scorpio. Might check it real quick. Yeah, we have the high priestess. So the two of wands, this travel is based on some creative expression here. Uh, for some Scorpios, you may have to make a choice. I'm not sure whether it's in love or business coming up soon, but um, the lover's card is showing itself at the bottom of the deck there. Maybe the choice to travel, I'm not too sure, but maybe that's why it's tough right now. I'm not too sure, but let's see. Um, we have the high priestess right under the two of wands, which lets me know that this travel is happening because of this teaching. Right or this divine expression of your creativity, I really feel like this is in relationship. The three and the two is in connection, the start and the end. Right, um, you're really spending a lot of time in your divine expression. Some of you guys can be musicians here if you play an instrument. That could be significant. You could utilize your voice or even do some sort of spiritual work as well. I mean, you're also very intuitive here, Scorpio. You don't utilize your um, intuition to make the choice whether this travel should be done or whatever or like just 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 a choice on this travel or relocation in general here um or maybe it's you taking the action with another individual here be intuitive uh towards yourself and and ask yourself whether this is someone you should be taking action with or not um it's very nice for you scorpio you have a powerful hand there's a lot of major arcanas here a lot we have four or five i'm seeing this is nice. I'm going to pull eight cards from this deck here, right away, Smith. This is going to tie all the energies together, give us the confirmation that we need here, Scorpio. Let me split this. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Okay. So one one reason this is all happening is because you do fulfill your own cup here. There's a lot that you know. The higher friend. There's a lot that you know. Oh, the Emperor, okay. Yeah, there's a lot that you know what, what fulfills you and what doesn't fulfill you, right? That Ace of Cups here, um, which I think you're very aware of with the Magician card as well, and the Empress's creativity. I know I think there's a lot that you, ex how you express yourself here that fulfills your own cup, Scorpio. Um, the King of Wands lets me know that it's up to you to make certain decisions when it comes to your travel or maybe relocation or just taking action with other individuals to make sure, like I said, make sure you're being very intuitive for yourself to know whether this is something or someone or a place you need to be taking action toward here. Um, seeing the Emperor here, Aries energy. Yeah, so this is like this is just letting me know that you are in a position of authority here, of authority here. A lot of people, a lot of individuals come to you for, um, come to you or see you as a beacon for answers. For, um, even if you, even if they don't tell you this, um, a lot of people look at you maybe as guidance here, as a big guiding factor in their lives here, Scorpio. Um, I'm hearing this will help you stay in, stay in position as well. Um, understanding which actions, you know, you need to move forward towards, uh, based upon your own individual fulfillment that you curate for yourself, your Scorpio. Let's pull two cards from the playing card deck here. This is going to give us the hidden uh, underlining theme, the why and the how. 
to why this is all happening right now. We have a weekly theme, general theme for Scorpio. And what this is moving us towards, right? Kind of that guiding, that guiding factor. Yeah, these cards are nice to shuffle, but you know nothing ever. Sometimes, like, not even nothing, but sometimes, there you go. Any confirmation here for Scorpio? Sometimes things don't want to, they don't want to fly out their skirts. But that's what I like about them, though, because it's really certain, you know, when it comes out, what comes out. You see now, aggressive, that one shot out here, four spades. But the four spades, guys, letting me know that this is all happening to teach you how to be a little bit more practical towards the way you think, right? Maybe this is towards how you think about your creativity or how you think about yourself. You know, I'm hearing... Maybe you're making sense out of your creativity and, and being more logical and, and you know maybe being more practical so it can give you a, a sense of stability um, or like monetization here to where you can because four is earth energy as well. So maybe bring like the and the way you and what you're thinking about is probably have to do with you likely have to do with yourself, this creativity, um, your intuition and planning this travel and how you can be of service to the people here. So a lot of that is look maybe I think you're looking especially the diamond energy can bring that confirmation too. A lot of that thought process, a lot of those thought processes are thought processes, are to create a sense of uh, stability and foundation around this creativity and divine expression, so that you can continue doing this here. And with the ace of diamonds, a very good omen, um, is letting me know that you're also very well balanced right now. The give and the take, the uh, the black, the, the the night and the and the day here, the, the black and the red. Um, but it's with the aces here. You have a lot of aces. Three, 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 one, one, one may be significant to you as well. Um, but you have what it takes. Aces letting me know that this is all showing you that you have what it takes to create your own foundation here, Scorpio. So whatever, whatever you may, if there's anything you may be worried about, I'm hearing to trust the divine and trust your connection to spirit, and trust the the opportunities that come to you and the connections that you have um, with within your relationships and your and the relationship to spirit here. Yeah, you're protected here because there's a lot of power cards, a lot of uh, major arcanas. You're very protected here, Scorpio. As we close out this reading, I want to remind you guys there, Scorpio, that you guys are the most important part to this channel, Triple Peach Tarot. I appreciate you for tuning in. hope this gave you guidance and clarity. If you want a personal, extensive, you can hit the description box below. Free ebook out now, new music out now. 2-2 two two portal, happy full moon in Virgo, guys. New week, new energy. Let's get to it. MC Triple Three, as always, I'm watching from afar and I'm rooting for you. No more Himalaya. Three for three. You're out of this